Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's ride is all about University of Benin, well known as Uniben. Uniben is the only federal university in Edo State, accompanied with two state universities and four private universities. It has two campuses, Ugbowo and the Kenwa campus. Today we are riding through the whole of Ugbowo campus, so stay tuned. This is Benin Shagamu Expressway and we are going right now to Unibank's main gate. That's the gate you can see ahead. So Uniben is known for its undisputed standard in producing graduates, both fit in character and intellect. It is one school everyone in Edo State dreams of attending. But only a few managed to get it because of the stiff admission requirements and the high number of applicants. So this video is one hour long, but I will show you around the Uniben, all the faculties and a well-detailed navigation around the campus. These are the security personnel. And to the right is main gate car park. You park and pay in the car park. We are turning left now towards UDSS. So that's UDSS Road. To the left here we have to the right here we have GT Bank, Wema Bank and Keystone Bank. To the left that's the security building, the one with the Helix pickups. And after that Still to the left, we have the University of Benin Fire Service. So any fire incident is usually managed by them. That building to the right, the whole of that compound is estate management. So repairs of vehicles and all in the school is done there. We have Fidelity Bank to the right. This street is more of the banking street, the street that leads to the UDSS. The left is the Uniben Shuttle Park. You can see the shuttle buses all lined up. That's Stambik IBTC Bank. After that, we have Zenith Bank. Yeah. Followed by Assets Bank. Then First Bank at the end. Currently undergoing a renovation. So this is the First Bank ATM. People park here to use the ATM. So this is a new building to the right. It's a, a petroleum engineering building. It was built by an oil company. I think to extend the reach of petroleum engineering. So this is UDSS to the right. That's University Demonstration Secondary School. One of the best secondary schools in Benin and it's affiliated with the University of Benin. So that's secondary school to the right. So we'll be turning here, going back to main gate now. I just came here to show you this secondary school. That fence to the left, you can see, is a gas plant, cooking gas plant. It was proposed to be used by the students, but I think for safety reasons, it was never commissioned. So we'll be heading back to main gate now, where the full tour would begin. So get your tea, relax, and enjoy the ride. A fresher or visitor, this video will stand as a guide to know important places on the campus. While for students and alumni, this video serves for you to know places you might have seen or have never seen in the school. So, the current situation of the school, what the school looks like, will all be shown in this video. So, enjoy the video. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and interact with the video so that the video can be pushed out to a wider audience. Directing 
for the video, I mean, drop in the comments and a like so that the video can get to others that might like it just like you do. So, we're back on the UDSS road, heading back to Main Gate. Stop there to fix something on my bike, and we'll be continuing now. Uniben is actually a very big school. All the buildings in Uniben don't even take up half of the land mass allocated to the University of Benin. So you can see that Stambik IPTC signboard there, the blue one. To the left is River Ethiop Road, that road that goes down. I will show you where the road comes out from the back now when we get there. I've introduced all these places to you, so continue from main gates. So we are approaching main gate back now. We just did a U-turn at UDSS. You can see this brown pillar to the right. I'm going to tell you something about it now. You no, know, Uniben likens this pillar to every student in the school. Notice as we progress, the pillars begin to bend. So it illustrates that every student, when they get into Uniben, they're usually straight like the first set. But as they go through the years in the school, they begin to bend. And you'll see the logo of Uniben growing through them. That's why you see on this last bent pillar, you can see Uniben's logo at the center of it, which means Uniben has bent you and Uniben has passed through you. That's why you have the logo going through you. So to the right is Fidelity Bank Green Park. Students charge their phones there. This is the entrance to the car park I showed you earlier. This gate we're entering to the right now, which we're not entering though, that gate is the University of Benin Sports Complex. See the swimming pool there, the football main bowl. There are some other training pitches at the back. It's actually a very big sport complex and well equipped. So that's that for the sport complex. We continue now. You can see the pillars to the left. The bend as we progress. That building at the front we are heading towards now is the main auditorium of Uniben, Akin Deco Auditorium. Convocations, matriculations, special events, inaugural lectures all take place in this auditorium. Even inductions into professions, they all take place here. So this is where all ceremonies that have that are of importance in the school take place. So we're done with the auditorium. Where those people are entering now, just by the side of the auditorium, leads to the back of the auditorium and physical and life sciences. We will link it from the back and I'll show you this road when we get there. So to the left now is All Saints Anglican Chapel. To the right is the Central Administration Building. That's where you have the Vice Chancellor's Office. This is St. Abbott's Catholic Church, the only Catholic church in the school. And just after that is the University of Benin's Central Mosque. So we are linking back River Ethiop Road, the road I showed you from. Stambik IBTC Bank. So to the left goes to Stambik IBTC Bank, while the right goes down River Ethiopia Road. We'll be taking straight now. We call this Obaseki of Benin Street. 
we have just entered A quarters of the senior staff quarters. So this whole area is residential for mostly professors and senior staffs of the university. So we we'll continue on the A block now. You see the environment very serene. Actually, each house here has a boys' quarters, which the occupants of the house might choose to let out the boys' quarters to students. So students that stay in those boys' quarters are actually very lucky because they get to go to class earlier and enjoy almost 24 hours power supply because the campus is prioritized for power supply. We're going left now towards Unibank Water Board. This is one place I know many students who finish on Unibank don't even know because they haven't had a chance or a reason to come here. So, you can have a free look at it now. Most water that go to the hostels, to the staff quarters, all come from this water board. We're approaching it now, you will see the big reservoir tank. We have water is usually pumped and with gravity, the water is sent down to all local pond because this is like the highest point of the school. So I had this worker coming around where I asked him if it was still functional and he said yes it was functional. Does it still work? This stuff, does it still work? Where does that? Supply the water for me and I supply the whole campus. Okay. Oh. But like how many liters? Well like rough estimate. So we are done with that. We continue on our tour. We are leaving this waterboard road now. Back to Obaseki of Benin Street. You can see how calm the campus is. So those stories we hear about in Ben, that's a very rough school and not true. It's a very nice school. So don't be scared if you're a new student. Just come in. <laughs> so we're back to Obasaki of Benin Street. We're going to turn around back to where we came from. So I'm just showing you around the A quarters of the senior staff quarters. Or rather the A section of the senior staff quarters. So it's called SSQ by the students and even the occupants. So come to Unibank, be like, take me to SSQ. Rent here is not cheap though. As a matter of fact, one room in the boys' quarter can pay for the full house if you are paying to the school directly. So now we have entered Asim Ibrahim Street. This road straight leads to River Etiop Road and across the road is Electrical Electronics Engineering. That brown building you can see there. But we are going right now. Entering King Jaja Crescent. King Georgia Crescent will lead us back to Obaseki of Benin Street, which is where we came in from. And just enjoy the view of the series of SSQ. Unibank is actually very big, so we're going to be riding for a little long time today. You now we put in a lot to make these videos, so. Interacting with the video will actually encourage us 
to make more similar videos of these different interesting places. So don't forget to interact with the video. We are back to Obaski of Benin Street and we are heading out of the A section of the senior staff quarters. You see, I have not seen anyone on the road and this is a school session. Like, the session is on now. It's purely residential. If you're not living there, you have no business there. We are back to Rivia Etiop Road now and we are gliding down. You can see that uh, signboard there. This road leads you down to the end of any bend if you take it straight without taking any bend. To the right is engineering field, so you can play ball on the field. But it's labeled engineering field because it's affiliated with the faculty of engineering, which is this building you can see here. First of all, to the right is electrical, electronics, and computer engineering. That, that is the road I was telling you about. So to the right is engineering. We'll be entering engineering now, so I'll show you around. So we're going right. We are welcoming you to the Faculty of Engineering, Uniper. This first building to the left is Civil Engineering and Production Engineering Workshop. The next one, the White House, is for chemical engineering. Opposite it is new 1000 LT for the 200 level students. And these buildings are different LTs for lectures. So your lecture is usually scheduled to a certain LT where you make use of these classes. Opposite it is the engineering laboratory and here this building across are the DOs mechanical offices are here too production offices look at the breakdown here so you can just spot where we are now DO2 DO3 DO4 but the right is the engineering car park Those people you can see are the right sitting there, sitting in the relaxation center. There's old 1000 LT for 100 level students. So if you're in 100 level engineering, just coming in, that will be your class. We're living in engineering now, and the building you can see across is in physical sciences. That's the 500 level or 500 LT. So whenever you hear physical science 500 LT, this is the building that's been discussed. That's computer science and mathematics down there. Well, to the right here is the back of Akindeko Auditorium. You can see the physical science relaxation center. This little hut you can see. And that building you can see there houses physics and optometry. This is the road to opt optometry clinic if you have any appointment there. So after that, these buildings going down is the life science building. Life science, you have chemistry, microbiology, optometry, and so on and so forth. You can see this green roof at the front, the yellow building. That's the University of Benin Bursary Department, where all financial works are done. We are passing through this part. 
can see a breakdown of all I just stated. Mathematics, geology. Have that. So, guys, life science to the left. There are labs and lecture theaters. Why to the right are uh, usually, what I call it, experimental gardens now or museum where they carry out experiments. That's for the life sciences. I'll pause and read this signboard to see what I'm talking about. So we are living in the labs now and I'm just taking this shortcut out of life science. Vegas used to pass here in the past, but you see they've built this little barricade here where only bikes and bicycles can pass. So to the right is the new optometry complex. You have offices there and lecture theater. That road you can see goes straight to the hostel. I will show you the back end of the road when we get to the front of our tree. This is the building to the right is SLT, Science Laboratory Technology. You can see the assembled there. To the left is physics and optometry. That building you can see. The conditioner. While this building on the left we're approaching is actually a shopping complex. It's a round set of buildings. You'll see a drone shot shortly and to the right okay you can see this round complex here is a physical science shopping complex to the left is mass and geology this building you can see we are still in physical sciences to the right that building downstairs with the high green roof is the Icon Lecture Theatre Institute for Controlling Accounting in Nigeria, I think. Icon. Okay. Across the road is Distance Learning Centre. And for those that are coming to Uniben to write post to me, this is one of your venues. To the right is the International ICT Centre. So, bookmark this video. You will be needing it. That's the ICT center. It's usually crowded during post UMEs because there are a lot of computers there. They used to write exams. This is the mass and geology to the left part of physical science. You notice in this video, I'm usually going around to converge at my starting point so that you understand how linked the school is. Remember I came out of engineering at this junction and went around just now. So I'm coming back here and going back to the entrance I took into engineering. So you will see how I'm taking the turns. So when I was passing just now, I didn't show you ADEC. ADEC is another venue for writing post UME exams. Just after this old 1000 LT, you can see the signboard there. That building you can see has a lot of computers inside. For writing exams. So posture means that most computer based exams are written there. So take note freshers and those that will be writing entrepreneur. I think you'll be using ADEC and International ICT Center. So if you don't know them, there you have it. So we're back to engineering and we are living engineering now. I guess you're satisfied with all I've showed you about engineering. We are 24 minutes in already. So if you are still watching to this point and you have not subscribed, you're not helping the channel. Give it a like and subscribe so we can visit other places. Remember what I said, from 1,000 subscribers, we will start visiting different states. That road leads to petroleum engineering. I showed you on the drone shot where petroleum engineering is located. 
So as I was saying, after 1,000 subscribers, we'll start going to different states. And after 10,000, we'll start visiting different countries. So this building you are seeing across the road here is Federal Staff School. It's a primary school of University of Benin, just like the UDSS was a secondary school. This is the primary arm of it. So this is the school both we went to. Many dignitaries actually are hovering around Uniben. See how serene the environment is. You come to Uniben and you want to study. You can study without crossing anyone's path. So that's another part of engineering field, I think. Okay, we are back on River Ethiop Road. In case you're familiar with that name already. We are going left now to Mukoro Street. Mukoro Street is the start of the B series of the senior staff quarters. So it's the B arm. All the buildings here have the tag B1, B2, like that, and so on. You can see how beautiful the environment is. That house is actually the house of a dignitary that shouldn't, that shouldn't be mentioned. Okay, we're still on Mukuro Street. I'm just trying to show you the B series. And I'll be turning back to where I entered from. See how beautiful Uniben is. I dropped a shot. I think on TikTok and people were arguing that Uniben is not a beautiful school. I didn't argue with them. Oh no go no no. So I made a U-turn at a junction linking a coast of the road. I didn't want to take the road because I wanted to take it from the entrance opposite Faculty of Arts. So I'm going back now to where I entered from to continue on River Ethiop Road. So we are leaving B series of SSQ now, back to River Ethiop Road. We are going left now. So these buildings to the right are the centers for research and innovation. see different research it's, a, it's actually a school of research the great universe i try to drive close to symbols so you can read some labels i might be omitting this road to the right goes to the halls of residence, hall 1, hall 2, hall 3, NDDC hostel, and the rest. We'll be taking that route later. That building you can see to the right is called faculty. What faculty? Because it, it encompasses three different faculties. Arts, Management Science, and Social Science. So this is faculty bus park. Just at the entrance of Ekosudi Road. So everyone you see playing this road are all students staying in Ekosodi, the famous Ekosodi. So when they make you scared of Ekosodi, you can see these are young people, tender people staying at Ekosodi. So it's nothing to be scared about. You just have to mind your business and live right. Nobody will be crossing your path. 
So this is still B series of the senior staff quarters. There's a close to the gate there, right there. But we're not going there, we're going right to Ramat Street. The street is Ramat Street, still on the B series of SSQ. The staff quarters is actually very big and very spaced. One person's compound. I think when they were planning the school, they gave staff a lot of space to do whatever they like in the compound. So most of them give out their boys' quarters so they won't be lonely in the house, I think. <laughs> So we are still on Rama Street. This Rama Street goes down and terminates at the fence of Royal Choice Inn. But we'll be going left now to Vurame Street. So we can just turn around and come back here. So this is Vurame Street. You can see some staff that would like to make their living space more habitable can renovate theirs, why some don't care, they just leave it like that. So it's a matter of preference anyway. We're still on the base series, and I'm going to be taking you to Royal Choice Inn. It's a guest house in Uniben, where you can actually lodge for the cheap amount, secured, and I think there's Wi-Fi, I'm not sure. But I know the security is guaranteed if you lodge there. There's the B-Series and the Royal Choice Inn or Unibank Guest House just at the end of this road. I would even go there to buy a bottle of water because at this point of riding, my throat got dried. So let's have a view of the B-Series of SSQ. See how serene it is. It's a residential area, you know, so you can't just find students running around. When we get to the hostel, you'll see a lot of students. So this is the entrance of the Royal Choice Inn. You can see the label there. But just take a quick pack to get water. Now fast forward the video to where I'm living. So they have a lot of rooms here, ranging from different prices depending on your tastes and what you want so part-time students usually come for classes during the weekend and just lodge here i'm done buying what i needed so i'm leaving the royal choice in going back to where i started this evorama streets So I'm back to Rama Street. Remember I told you the road terminates at the fence of the Rama Street. So this junction I can't really record in here. It's trying to record in here. Okay. That um, junction I diverted from is Obi Osai Crescent. So this was the crescent I turned around. So instead of going right now, like I just did, I'll be going left to navigate River Ethiop Road. See that road is more of a reference road because I've just been diverting out I'm coming back to the road. While watching this video, don't forget to drop your comments about the video, what you think I should improve in future videos and the like. So I'm going right now, climbing up to River Ethiop Road, towards the Ecosodin Junction I entered from. I'll show you the Ecosodin Junction now. Going to go into the faculty car park. 
so that you can see the Faculty of Arts. To the right is still the B series of SSQ. And to the left is the University Orchard. You have many trees. You can see those, those are the trees there. So this is the entrance of Faculty of Social Science, Faculty of Management Science and Faculty of Arts. This car park, I think, is for staffs only. So I won't be parking here, I would just drive through. I think it's for shot on a weekend, if I'm not mistaken. Because the whole place seems so dry. This place is usually filled with cars. So that is the entrance of the faculty there. And this is the orchard. Students have turned the orchard into a prayer ground during the day and at night. You know what's up. So that's the faculty there and that's the orchard. Just showing you from a drone shot. Those high rise buildings. I think four story buildings at the faculty. So I'm leaving the faculty now. Going back to River Ethiop Road. That is to the right. He was just asking me questions about my bike there. You have seen a lot of Uniburn already. So if you are coming in, like I said, the fresh air, don't be scared. School is yours. That bus you s that just passed came out from the health center. So that brings us to the health center, which is that building at the right. This is the entrance to the health center. You see the health center there? That green building. It's the Department of Health Services. So, as a student, you have health insurance. So, you have to do your health clearance so that your details will be taken and you are entitled to free treatment when you're sick at the health center. All you need is your ID card and you're good to go. The pardon So... Continue on River Eight your approach. We're still in the residential part of the school. The left is still the SSQ B arm. That's the entrance to the neighboring guest house. We just left it, and to the right now is the road that leads to Hall Six and the Vice Chancellor's Lounge. Or lounge, anyone. So the fence to the right is actually the Vice Chancellor's Lounge. But we're taking this left, so I will show you the se the Senior Staff Club. Like the name implies, Senior Staff Club, the club for the senior staffs. So this is it. Go right now. That's yellow. Fence you can see is the senior staff club. That's the entrance. You can see some staffs already there chilling out. Here's to the B arm of the senior staff quarters. You can see how big it is. So now we have at another part of the school. Plenty of people will graduate from without knowing. This is the blocks of flats. Actually, residential. I think each building has six flats. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, six flats. Each of them have a boys' quarter at the back. So the boys' quarters are usually given out. It's it's um, occupied by staff. That is the main houses and the staff decide to give out the boys' quarters to students to rent. So there is the blocks of flats, Unibe. I'm very sure people that watch this video, some of them never came here till they graduated. 
that will tell you how well Unibank will bend you. You won't even know what is going on in your surrounding. So that's that for the blocks of flats. I'll be leaving here now. I'm showing you other places around the school. I'll make sure at the end of this video, you'll be able to beat your chest and say, I know Unibank. Because I'll show you around. This will be one of my longest videos on this channel, so please just manage it. Make sure you're relaxed when you're watching it so that you won't be stressed. Enjoy the HD scene I give you for free. So, like I said, each block has their boys' quarters. That's the yellow now, or former white. This is the boys' quarter of this, that particular block. So this building across the road is the Vice Chancellor's Lounge. So that's where the Vice Chancellor stays. Vice Chancellor is the principal of a university. To so those that don't know. So there's actually a Chancellor. Chancellor is more of a ceremonial position. He doesn't stay here, he only comes here for convocation and the rest. But the Vice Chancellor is actually the number one citizen of the school, residing in the school. So this is the Vice Chancellor Lounge to the left. I will be showing you the Chancellor's Lounge or House later in the video. I think just down this road. The place is called the Capitol. So if you tell anyone you are going to Capitol the Unibank, it means you are going to the Chancellor's House. We are going left now to the VC Lounge's Road. You can see it on the label there. You don't have access to the VC Lounge, so. I'll just show you the entrance. This road was newly done by the current VC. They actually made sure all roads in Uniben are tarred. As I see, I'm riding flawlessly. To the left is the entrance to the Vice Chancellor's Lounge. In the past, this place was pure bush. You can't even pass here because you can. Anything could happen to you if you pass this road. But now look at us playing into these vehicles. People even play ball in this field to the left. You can see some footballers there now warming up to play their football. So that's that. This brown building you are seeing is actually a new hostel. Forgotten the name. Right to the right is Keystone Bank Hostel. That is former bank PHB hostel. See this tall building inside. To the left is Hall 6. Only female hostel. So, it's a little bit more expensive than the other hostels. It's only female. Right to the right is Hall 7, postgraduate hostel. Same with this brown building as in the other postgraduate hostels. If you're coming to Unibank for postgraduate and you want to stay in the hostel, you are just opposite Hall 6, you understand? So, this road now, I'm just showing you around the hostels so you will see the arrangement. Where the vehicle is coming from, it's where we came out from. We've entered this road now. Leads to the Capitol I told you about, the Chancellor's Lounge. So to the right, you can see a security post there. There used to be a gate there to go into UBTH Dental Street Quarters, but it was sealed for security reasons. To the left is Senator Daisy Danjuma Female Hostel. A lot of female hostels in the school coming up, maybe for security purposes. So, to the left now is Uniben's Botanical Garden. I'm coming to take your sweet pictures and the rest. So, this fence to the right is what differentiates University of Benin from University of Benin Teaching Hospital. That's where power comes into Uniben from. The power plants, I will try to get the name of the power plants. 
So these buildings you can see to the right are not in Unibet. They are all in the University of Benin Teaching Hospitals Estate Phase 1. It's coming up in my next video anyway. So look at the label there, the capital. So this is the entrance to the Chancellor's Lounge. So whenever it's around, this is where it stays. We've come to the back end of Habited Uniben. So I'll be turning back now, going back up. I call it Habited Uniben because Uniben's land still goes down outside that gate. I might be making a video on that if I'm still around Uniben for some time. So you'll see what I'm talking about. So we're heading back up now. There's the Senator Daisy Danjumas Hostel. To the left is the National Center for Energy. And to the right is Erasmus Akimbola's postgraduate hostel. This hostel you're seeing here. Down the road to the right, back of our seven, you can see Intercontinental Bank Hostel there. The oldest hostels you have here. And um, to the right is Hall 5, male and female. The male first, and the female is the other one inside there. The left is medical complex. I'll be driving to the back of medical complex shortly. And just opposite medical complex is the famous hall four. So this is the entrance to unit one of hall four. You can see the setup. Hall four is actually the biggest hostel in Uniben by a number of rooms. Hall three is just tall, but hall four is bigger. You see, it has unit 1, unit 2, and unit 3. So, this is how for passing it is just like a face me, I face you kind of setup. When you enter inside, you will see a lot of rooms. So, this is the entrance to medical complex. I will just slow down here so that you can see the list of departments in the medical complex. Actually, the entrance of basic medical sciences. So this is the Uniben powerhouse to the right. In the past, this is where all the generators powering the school. I think they had 10 megawatt of power generated from there. But now, based on maintenance, the thing could not perform well. All other departments now have they are private generators. So this is the hall four to the right. You can see how big it is. And opposite it's to the left now is the Williams Abong Hall. This is the June 12th Uniben. That yellow building you can see is the SUG Secretariat. We'll be coming through it from the other side very soon. So to the right here is the entrance of Unit 2 of Hall 4. Hall 4 actually has three units, though. There are only entrances for Unit 1 and 2. Unit 3 is far behind and the gate is locked, permanently locked. So to the left here, all you are seeing is the Faculty of Law. The great Faculty of Law, Uniben. If you're coming to, laws, to study law in Uniben, this is where you will be. Opposite it is Faculty of Agri. Looks small. But it's not small. I see how big it is from here. Faculty of Law. You can see C, D building after that. Twin LT is after that. I'll be showing you them as we right now. Faculty of Education. I'll be showing you from the back. Faculty of Arts. So, just enjoy the drone view before we ride through. You can see just 
by looking on top, you can see why those two buildings are called Twin LT. They actually look alike. That's why it's called Twin LT. If you're in 100 level, most of your GST tutorials, if you'll be attending any, will be holding Twin LT. So this whole building surrounding that place is the Faculty of Education. So, I met these two guys. I gave my camera to make a video shoot. The last time I saw them while making the video shoot, one of them was jokingly saying, what if we just run away with this camera? So, he didn't know the camera was recording his voice. I was playing the footage later, I heard it and it was so funny. So, I'll remind him now what he said. We we'll continue our ride from the drone shot. You saw the CED building to the left. Down there, then you can see the twin LT. See how they look alike. Just before the faculty building. That's the twin LT. Then those tall building there. The faculty building. To the right is also the Greek office annex. I think there are some classes here too. But that's for the Faculty of Agriculture. We are linking up to River Etiop Road still. So we just went round in touch from the Versus Land Road and just turned round to River Etiop Road. I see Uniben is not hard to navigate, just to know your way around. That's the um, health center down there. So we're back to River Ethiopia. We'll be going left now, so we can navigate to Hall 3. I've introduced all these places already, so it's nothing new. Notice a change of color there. Actually, I ran out of battery and I had to come back the next day to continue the footage. There is a Kosodi injunction. That street goes to a Kosodi gate. We've covered that already. So, from River Ethiop Road, go left now. Heading towards O one, O two, and O three. So we have Stambik IBTC ATM to the left. That has the gender. General Studies Department to the right. So that's why you'll be registering for your GST for all in your intakes. Over there, you have the Faculty of Arts 1000 LT, and to the right, you have Architectural Department, actually, Faculty of Environmental Sciences, survey, architecture, and the rest. This is your faculty. So we are approaching the mother faculty of the university. To the left, there's the faculty of education. All faculties are children of the faculty of education. Because in all faculties, you must be taught. That's the Uniben Fitness Gym over there. To the right, it's all about computer sciences. So let me just show you around. There's a structure by the right coming up. There's the upcoming computer science building. This is an ICT center. 
pretty big. And the brown building to the right is computer science department. Then we used to have the fastest Wi-Fi here because this is where the transmission is. Don't know if it's still like that now. And after that, the green building to the right is center for distance learning. So you can do your distance learning here. Maybe you have classes with affiliates from Canada, for instance. Do a Zoom class inside the center of distance learning. Actually, fun. So we're leaving that. Leaving the the computer science area now back to the hostel road but before that we'll be taking this road opposite where that lady is so i could show you something ahead you can see all two there but we'll be driving the later let's not rush in 2013 there was a six month asso strike yeah it was called off after an accident when ASU members were going to Abuja for a meeting. Remember in the accident, a professor died, first of CIA. You can see this building to the right, this red little building. The bus in which we had the accident is what's inside that building. We are preserving it, I don't know why. I think the case is still in court. They need evidence because it's believed that it was not the accident that led to his death but something else so i guess that's what they're trying to prove this is june 12th to the right the sug offices are there sug building and all that's it june 12th and across the road now this road is actually called abuja road i didn't mention that because the road is the entrance of all four units two i showed you that earlier So that's faculty of law. I think this faculty of library science. So there's this white building with red roof. But that I'm not sure of. So this faculty of education. And if you're going to the gym, you can easily just stroll through that part. You're going to the gym. So now we are heading towards the interesting part of the school. Over to the right, those yellow buildings there, the Faculty of Management Sciences. I think they are moving here away from the big Faculty of Arts. So to the left is Hall 2. I was trying to bring you closer so you can see the sign board. To the left is Hall 2, female hostel. Those buildings you can see there. I will show you a drone shot shortly. You can see some white canopies in there. I think a trade fair is going on where students can get things for lower prices. So look at it. There's all three over there. Usually all three used to be only for boys, but now it's now for male and female. There's all two and this is all one. They are all six blocks each. I can't name six blocks. Uh, hostel. I see the Inbe Microfinance Bank, John Harris Library, NDDC Hostel, Medical Hostel or Clinical Hostel, and the Uniben Food Court. Food Court is where you can get your food. There are many restaurants there. You can also see the junior staff quarters. Just try to label them so that you won't get lost. So, continue now. From the ground view, you may not be seeing how magnificent this place is. So that building you can see there, the brown one, is where the Jupeb students take their lectures. And this is Uniben Microfinance Bank. 
you'll be doing a lot of payments there when you get into school. That is the library car park, just by the right. And this hostel we are approaching across the road is NDDC hostel. Usually are located to medical students. Medical students and females actually have more access to hostels than any other students. So that entrance to the right, that gate leads to the Uniben food court. A lot of restaurants are there that sell food. So students from the hostel can easily go there to eat without having to cook. So this building you can see there at the right is the food court. That logo you can see there, junior staff quarters. The whole of this fence to the right, just with the food court, is junior staff quarters. This is the entrance. So just like we had SSQ, this is JSQ. For junior staffs. When you become a senior staff, you'll be entitled to a house in the SSQ if you are lucky to get a space. So this road leads to pharmacy. You can see the different departments there leads to. So the building ahead, the one with the triangle there, is the faculty of pharmacy. I think that's where their offices are. Later on, I will show you where they hold their classes. I see their motor there. This is the entrance. So, passing that place, we are going to medical complex. So now we are going through the back. I will be showing you medical complex library this building you can see just close to us here with the step in front is their library fully equipped and these buildings you can see uh, there are various various classes but this particular secluded one is for nursing science nursing sciences a lot of nurses over around this area in the afternoon So we're living here now. It was the base, the back of medical complex. I want to show you where this road leads because not every student will have time to trek down this long path. That's when you have books to read. So you know, so always refer to this video. By saving it, keeping it from when you might need it. Or these are students that just finished lectures. That was still just by the right now, it's all three. We're heading away from this area. Heading towards John Harris Library. There is the hostel mocks to the right. That roof you can see there. If you don't want to go to the central mocks, you can find your way to the hostel mocks to do your prayers. That's hall one. I think there's something being developed here. I'm not sure what it is, but maybe soon it will be launched. So, should you end this hostel? We're leaving that vicinity now. And the fence to the left is the fence of the clinical hostel or medical hostel. But to the right now, that yellow building is the John Harris Library. John Harris Library was named after the first librarian, John Harris. That was the first librarian of the library, so it was named after him. This road is called Akenzoa Road. 
and we'll be going left towards Hospital Road. It's Hospital Road because it leads out of the University of Benin to UBTH. See, this is Anatomy Environment Center. These buildings you are seeing on the right are for the anatomy department. There are a lot of cadavers inside here used for experiments. So if you want to feed your eyes, you want to see what it pass you, just go and look through the window. It's open for you to see. Since you can't mind your business. So since the gate is locked, we'll be turning back here and I'll just be driving you towards the clinical hostel entrance. So you see how it is. You know, medicine students are actually very rich. You see a lot of big cars there. Mostly in the evening when they are done with posting. So this is the entrance to the clinical hostel. You need to see the way these people were looking at me. Of like, don't know this guy here. You're not needed here. Get out of this place. That kind of look. So I had to leave immediately. So we're heading towards the anatomy building now. With this anatomy building, that's where the pharmacy classrooms are, the other side of the building. So opposite this road here is the universe basement. So we call it basement because it has an underground setup. And this, the Uniben Think Conference Center. This building you can see. Yes, a lot of events are held there. So that's the basement. There are offices on top of the basement. I think that's for the session of the internal audits of Uniben. I'm back to Akenzoa Road. So like I said, the pharmacy classroom is just by the left. Let me go closer so you can read it. So both anatomy and pharmacy take their classes here. And anatomy practicals are held here. So we are nearly at the end of the video now. I hope you have enjoyed the video so far. We put in a whole lot to bring in this footage to YouTube. So liking and commenting on what you want us to improve on won't be bad. That building there, the red roof is student affairs. And to the right, you can see it is postgraduate school a school of postgraduates that brown building you can see opposite is still student affairs the right leads to uniben catering service it's a restaurant but you can order for food and this is unity bank uniben the only circular bank from the rest You can take that road to bus road department I showed you earlier. And we are back at auditorium. Remember when we were leaving, we took the left and we are coming back to the right. So I'm just going to take you around the auditorium so you can see it. I'll try and get the name of this building be added to the comment section when I get it. So with this, I can put it to you that you have gone around Uniben. So if you have been curious what Uniben looks like, you have it all here. Just settle down and watch the whole video and enjoy yourself. Don't forget to subscribe. So you can all watch this whole video and not subscribe. I catch you. Okay, back to the video. We've gone around Akin Deku Auditorium now. And 
will be terminating now inside the sport complex because after riding for a very long time I have to go there to stretch my legs you can actually enter the sport complex through the entrance by main gate or you go through the indoor spot hall entrance which is what I'm using now it's built by the FACUP filling station FACUP which means Faculty of Agri Cooperative just after this main bowl fence to the right So we are turning right towards the indoor spots. Hall. You can see the Fakup filling station there. The Menina Fakup is there. There's also a Fakup restaurant to the left. That place there. I think it's not open today. And the building ahead is the University of Benin Indoor Sports Hall. It's very big in there. You can play a whole basketball tournament in there. Long tennis, any indoor sports can be played in there. Just for you to configure it to your taste. So it's evening now, exercise, everything going on. I'll be making a U-turn here to take you to the back of this indoor sports hall to see people training over there so if you watch this far you can do as well by liking commenting so that the video will be recommended to other people if you are watching this you can just comment your name and tell me where you are watching this video from so that i will know how far this video has gone you can see people playing football at the back of the sport complex everyone has their priorities in school some are reading some are exercising some are sleeping some are humanizing and the rest you can't tell so after a long ride i'm going to be taking a break here thank you to all of you for Standing by, I really appreciate that. And as you work on more videos, all you need to do is to like this video, share your comments in the comment section, and subscribe while turning on your bell notifications so you'll be notified when we drop other interesting high definition videos. So thanks for staying around and i hope to see you on the next video thanks for watching